Kia ora bros and girls, welcome back to the channel. So today uh, I finally completed all four variants to a hundred percent and uh, I found a lot of things along the way, I uh, made a lot of mistakes along the way, I found a lot of really good counters, a lot of different strategy. Um, so we're going to talk about all of that today. Um, but what I'm going to do first is let's go to our rewards and uh, and open them up. Now I, I just want to show you a little bit of the rewards for variants. Um, so for complete completion or complete exploration, sorry, you got a five star rank up gem. That's a straight from our uh, rank four to rank five. So you can basically max out a five star straight away. You got a five star awakening gem. You can use awaken any of your five stars. Now I have a lot of them awakened, but um, this this is very very useful. Uh, and you get some um, a five star hero crystal, a lot of gold, um, and some resources. And for each chapter, you get a rank two to three gem, uh, like a rank three gem. So you can go from rank two to rank three quite easily if you complete it. Uh, but you also get a rank three to rank four gem um, if you fully explore it and some six star shards. Now, the years change a little bit for every different variant and so on. Uh, but basically, I've just finished the last two chapters of Variant 1, so I'm going to pop in here, I'm going to pop open the rewards so we have a beautiful look, because I'm a little bit a little bit excited still from uh, having completed uh, Variant. And then we're going to kind of talk a little bit more about Variants. So let's first of all pop up the Rank Up Gems, three of them, and... I think that's okay, I think that's alright, because I do need to rank 3 to 4. Um, oh, this is actually my second rank 3 to 4 that's specific to this year. The Cosmics 2015, uh, I could probably use that on potentially Venom or Ronin and the Mutant. I actually, I think these are duplicates of ones I already have, but that's fine. We'll find a use for them. Uh, now the 5 star rank up gem, this is the one I really want to play around with. Now, <clears throat> um, to be honest, I'm, I am kind of hoping that it's actually science in a way, but I mean, I'll probably have use for, for one in every class, um, but science would be ideal because I have a human torch uh, that I've just recently gotten and I'm trying to take him up to rank five um, very shortly. So having a rank four to five gem would be really nice, even though I already have the resources, but hey, um, it would be best uh, rank four to five for a skill opponent, which I don't have a lot of them that actually do want to rank up at the moment, but I guess I can save it for um, Blade or Nick Fury. Um, and while we're on this, this subject, let's open up the Awakening Gem as well. And I don't really know what I want for this, actually, um, because, I mean, another Mystic would be nice and another Mutant would be nice as well, because I've been umming and eyeing about using my uh, gem on Magic. I know everyone would say, oh yeah, Magic's the first Mystic, you should awaken, but I don't really need her for anything now that I've got Warlock and I've already, um, I've already clocked uh, Chapter 2 of, of Variant 1, so I, I really have no need to awaken her. So a skill awakening, which actually is really good because that allows me to open up Nick Fury or Blade if I get him straight away and save the generic. So that's great. Uh, and the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my... Uh, I'm going to open up my five stars and then we're going to talk strategy because uh, I just want to see what I pull up now. I don't need to worry about any of this. I can sort that out a little bit later. So, okay, so let's open up one, two, three crystals in here. And that should give me, ooh, that's not too bad. Elsa and I've awakened Luke Cage. I, I'm okay with that. Not, not super okay with, uh, not super okay with King Groot, but sorry, with just normal Groot, but uh, that's okay. All right, so <clears throat> with all that, crap taken uh, taken care of let's go back and talk 
uh, strategy, right? So I just needed to open all the stuff because if the level up event and the advancement event is on right now and I kind of want to, kind of needed to get the rewards for both of them. But so let's go back, let's talk some strat. Um, so if you're coming in, there are four, there are four varied quests and this is now another level up. So if you've been um, to get to start even doing variants, I would recommend first of all that you're uncollected. I definitely recommend, I probably recommend your cav before um, even attempting these. Maybe not for completion, but definitely for exploration. I think if you can finish act five, you can probably do a first pass through most of these quests. Uh, and if you're if you at cav level, then that's when you can start actually tackling some of this content. Now, which variant should you hit up first? Is probably the question you uh, you all have. Um, and I'm gonna say it all depends. It, it it really depends on your roster. It depends on the champs that you have. The variant that you should definitely try to complete last is variant one, okay? Because variant one is absolutely the hardest. And I think unanimously people would say that the easiest one to complete is variant four. I think if you ask anyone who's completed all, um, all four of them or explored all of them, the easiest one to complete and explore um, is definitely the first one. Now the first, the first variant, um, variant four, which I think is, I think it's Waning Moon actually. Yeah, this one is based around your, so this one is the one you should come to if you have a big roster, a big diverse roster. Um, you've got tons of champs, you've got a, a lot of okay level rank ups, but all the way down from one star right up to six. Now you obviously, w when you're talking about six star level and five star level, you're gonna have some very, very strong hitters in that group. I mean, your top five champs are gonna be the cream of the crop, the metas, because that's just how people build their rosters, right? You're not gonna R5, your first R5 is probably not gonna be Falcon, although it could be, but it probably isn't. It's probably gonna be a Domino, Thing, Corvus Glaive, um, Aegon, that kind of thing. Um, so apart from the first, so I would say if, you're, if you're, we're talking about difficulty and we're talking about the easiest one, I would say chapter two and three of this variant are probably the easiest to get through. Okay, so chapter one is pretty hard. Um, there, you can cheese chat. You can cheese uh, the first chapter map two a little bit. You can cheese that Deadpool, but the first Electro is probably definitely one of the hardest bosses. I think that's the one you really can't one shot unless you have a very good specific counter uh, for Electro. Um, but once you get past that, the rest of it is pretty easy. So if if I was a if I was tackling these variants, what I would do is I would probably start with chapter two, which is probably the easiest to finish in this quest, and then I would move on to chapter three, because now you've got one stars and two stars, and it takes a, a little bit of skill, but it's really not that hard. And then I would come back to chapter one. That's how I would probably, and I'll probably work on completing this first. So if you've got a good diverse roster across the stars, this uh, v V4 is, or Waning Moon, that's the variant quest you should go for. Now the next, again, kind of depends on your roster. And the second in difficulty would be one of those two that are, that's not V1. So Alternance Assault is the hardest one. Polar Opposites and Mystery in the Micro Realm kind of depends. If you have a lot of tech heavy roster, uh, really strong tech characters, if you have R5 Sentinel, R5 Ghost and you're a great Ghost player, uh, or an R5 Starkey, you'll probably have a really good time and an easier time with Polar Opposites. Um, bear in mind, to finish this 100%, you're really gonna need um, a Warlock for Kang, right? Um, if you don't, if you wanna one-shot him and you don't wanna spend a lot of, um, a lot of units. Now, if you do wanna spend a lot of units, it doesn't really matter, but um, you will need probably Kang for this, um, or potentially Hulkbuster who is currently getting buffed and will also get you through this. Um, and also Starkey, anyone with a shock. But the most uh, reliable uh, counter to Kang is, um, is actually Warlock. 
So if you have a very strong tech roster, I would suggest you go for Polar Opposites after doing Waning Moon. However, if you have a if you have an Excel type roster, if you have Sentinel, if you have uh, Venom the Duck, if you have Venom, if you have Warlock, if you have Thing with the Synergy, then, micro, then Mystery in the Micro Realms can be pretty easy and pretty straightforward. Um, and I mean, with the Synergy from Mystery in the Micro Realms, uh, with the Thing Synergy, you can easily clear this out. Um, and that's actually probably easier than the tech, I would say. So I think I went Waning Moon and I have a thing with the Synergy. So the next thing I finished was Mystery in the Micro Realms. And then I doubled back on uh, to Polar Opposites when I got Warlock. And then the final, um, kind of the final one you want to do is Variant 1, Ultron's Assault. And I'm going to say Chapter 2 of Variant 1 is the most difficult chapter. And I would almost say Chapter 2 of Variant 1 is probably more difficult than the other three variants plus the other two chapters of Variant 1 combined or that's at least how i found how i found it um i don't have a very strong mystic roster and maybe if you have like an r5 doctor doom you might not struggle with it so much or black uh black widow uh clairvoyant um i think her name is you might struggle less with this one but for me this was the hardest one and this was the one where i had to actually spend a lot of units and a lot of revives and stuff just simply because um, the nodes are pretty, the nodes are pretty terrible, and while you can one shot the bosses, there's a there's a lot of nasty path uh, in chapter two. Um, chapter three, I actually found pretty pretty easy um, with the think synergy, and chapter one wasn't so bad if you had the right counters. So which one should you tackle? Definitely, I would say you should start with waning moon, and you should finish with Ultron's assault. But in the middle of the two, that kind of depends on your roster. Um, now, if you follow uh, if you follow the channel, you subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna be doing actual breakdowns, variant by variant, chapter by chapter, and depending on the time, I might even do it line by line, um, just to talk about kind of the teams that work, what you have to really think about, and also uh, I'm gonna be putting in footage of how to one shot almost every single boss in every single chapter in every single variant. I think the only one I, I, I'm not able to do that was, with was Electro in variant 4. Um, but if, so if you'd like to see that, if you'd like to see how you can save yourself a lot of units, make sure you subscribe, uh, hit that like button and follow the channel and through the next couple of weeks or so I'm going to be um, going back through the footage and I'm going to be putting it together probably starting from variant 4 and working our way to variant one um, or it might be the opposite way I might work with variant one and go the other way because uh, I've just co recently completed variant one so it'll be my most recent footage so um, yeah like subscribe follow and I'm gonna come back to you with complete breakdowns of how to tackle everyone we're gonna do a completion guide for each one and then we're gonna do a full exploration guide for each one um, so if you want a second opinion in addition to Seton's guide, Seton's guides are also excellent by the way. I'd highly recommend um, you have a look, quick look through those. Um, but if you also want a second opinion, some more advice, some more tips and tricks, this particular lives you're struggling with, leave a comment below um, or for the channel and we'll, uh, we'll let you know. Okay, Kakita, no bros and girls. See you later.